Hello fellow experiencers, KV here, and we are back to another episode of the Swashbuckler walkthrough and the full walkthrough. Alright, so basically we had a pretty long episode um, for the first one, um, but it was introducing the series. Also, um, again, I will be posting the schedule for the next video. Um, uh, so yeah, anyways. Um, in this episode, we need to go ahead and take out the slingshots. Um, there's basically Trogis who are messing with everything. Um, do you actually have to do them all right? I believe there is three of them. Um, oh, okay. Well, I got in a battle. That's fine. Um, but basically, uh, there wasn't no side quests at the moment. Um, but once side quests do become available, I'll be doing them. I know it's going to make it, uh... Take longer but that's fine um also i may bump up the episode lanes uh to maybe 30 minutes um so yeah <laughs> i know i said it'll be around 20 but maybe 30 will be fine um uh, again there's gonna be a few exceptions in the future uh, depending on certain things um, but it's gonna be kind of solo um, and when I say kind of it's pretty much gonna be all solo so I'm not too worried about that um, because we are uh, swashbuckler and swashbuckler is pretty much have pretty high attacks also um, hopefully I could get a lot of badges also I think it's kind of lagging now yeah it, it is lagging that's not good oh Okay, I don't really know what happened. It's kind of just like... Alright, it's fine because I kind of need the gold. Currently, the gold, um... You actually don't get that much. Um... I should also mention that you could have a mount and it makes you travel, like, a thousand times faster. Uh... I should have got one. Um... The but... target is destroyed. Now, we will scout out the other two. Move carefully, Captain. Trogis are everywhere. Alright, so I guess now you have to do them in order. I actually kind of, last time, I believe you didn't have to do them in a certain order. But this time you do. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. Um, There are also maybe moments it's where done. I... Go to Smollett. Quickly! Smollett? Um... There will probably be uh, sped up parts, kind of like old school. I was uh, them good old days. I'm just kidding. We're still in the good days. All right, hello. You did it, pirate. Now we'll answer their slingshots with cannons. Now that the Trogi artillery is out of action, we can look to getting Captain Avery his bauble back. Finn fled up the trail. I'd wager he's hiding in the Skull Cave. I sent two of my best scouts, Livesey and Shepard, up the trail to see. They've been gone for hours. Go see if the Troggies got them. If Livesey and Shepard are alive, they'll know where Finn is. Alright, so we need to go find Livesey and... Alright, so basically now I can mark it, since... I guess you have to be level 2 to be able to mark it, which kind of makes sense, because... Level 1, there's really not much to be doing at all. Um, also, these red little things that are floating around are the health, and there's also blue ones, which are for mana potions, or not mana potions. What do they call it here? Um, but basically for potions. Um, same thing how it is in wizards, but if you don't play wizards, then um, they're basically potions that refill your health. Or ship, uh, but we don't have a ship yet, so... Yeah. You there! Help! Alright, so, Livesey's in a cage. That doesn't seem good. That does not... Say, Kevin, you're here. You need to get me out of here, and right quick, before the Troggies come back. I can't get the lock open. We need the key. One of the Troggy shamans must have it. Bring me that key. Alright, so now we need to defeat some more Troggies. Oh, wait, do we have to... Yeah, okay, sorry. Alright, also, once you defeat a... A certain amount of enemies uh, you'll also get badges if you're like a badge collector like you know gotta catch them all or whatever <laughs> gotta get them all gotta get them all 
Um, basically, you're gonna have to defeat a lot of enemies, which isn't that hard in the future because you could just like, you know, go through everyone and wreck them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's say you needed like a Trogi one and you get, like level 65 or max level, whatever the max level will be. Uh, let's say you're really high level and then you just come back here and just like, you know, destroy them, destroy all of them. Right. So we're going to take them out. Oh, we still haven't gotten any new talents or abilities yet. Uh, we still haven't even met our professor, which is kind of weird. Um, also. You get a lot of stuff in the chest. Uh, usually, I don't pay attention to them because I'm usually too busy running around. But I'll go ahead and pay attention to them now. I got a privateer thing, um, and then for those of you guys who don't know, the reason I have those other things is because I went to the share bank and yeah. Um, just watch the episode before. There will be annotations up above. There's also gonna be a little icon. Which way? This way? It's gonna be over there or that. Just look at um, the top right a corner. You'll see like a little eye, and the previous video will be on there, and also the playlist will be on there. Or if you just want to look in the description, it will be down there too. So there's a lot of ways to get to the previous video, or you could just search it in the search bar, whichever you prefer, but it is available. <laughs> Thank you, pirate. I thought I'd never get out of there. Alright, so now we are level 3. Want Finn, do you? He's up the trail, but he's not alone. There's a whole gang of sharks up here. Cutthroats by the look of them. They set up a camp across the bridge. They're up to something. Shepard and I found him, but the sharks attacked and we got separated. I didn't see Finn, but he must be near. You attack the cutthroats to draw him away. I'll sneak into their camp and see what I can find out. When I'm done, I'll hide in the mouth of the Skull Cave. We'll meet again there. Alright, so... Pretty much in the start of every episode, I'll note, or, uh, say what level I am. And for whatever reason I forget, I'll just put it down in... You'll see it, what level I am, in the beginning of the video. So... The Skull Cave. I am not afraid. And there are the cutthroats. Let's go pick a fight. Yeah, so everybody will know. Um, but the reason why I said didn't say it in this video because I knew we were gonna level up. Uh, so yeah. Um, so now we need to go ahead and defeat cutthroats. But before we do, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my companion thing, which you could just go ahead and press U on your keyboard. All right. So basically, we have Bonnie Hi. Ann, and then we have our first mate yes, companion. Captain. Um. Basically, you could change on which one goes first when you have more companions, which is right here. The follow. Oh no! Wait, no, sorry, that's not it. Uh, it, this one? No, which one is it? Uh, ooh, ooh. no. What? Where's the? Okay. This is basically who follows you, your first mate, your pets, or no one. I'll have a first mate. Okay, there it is. Alright, companion unit selection. You can have it in order, you can have it random, which is how it was before. Uh, which is actually kind of cool that it was like that before. You can have a first mate, which basically will be your first mate. And, uh, uh, and then it will just be random. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and have it in order. But you could change it. I know people complain about that. They're like, oh, I missed the days where it was random. You could just have it at random. And it'll just be random companions. You'll have to have more than uh, three. Because if you just have three, it's just going to show the three. If it's a battle with three, usually you have three companions or two. It really does depend on which one. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and have it in order. Uh, because it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, also... Um, you could use your training points to level up your companions. I usually don't do it too often because you could just do it later and it goes like way faster. And I know everybody kind of gets mad at me for it, but whatever. Also, I probably could have said all this in the battle, which is fine. Alright, 
So hopefully I could get some armor pretty soon. Alright, let's go over here and... See, like I said, we do have two companions, but... This battle is kind of in a small area, and we're still in the beginning. So we really only need one, which isn't that big of a deal. Again, the realm that I am in will also be at the beginning of the video. Uh, for those guys who would like to, I don't know, maybe just follow me. Watch this. Um, or if you just see me roaming around, um, you know. Cool. Uh, but like I said, this is kind of like a solo thing. So if you see me roaming around, uh, you know, I'll add you as a friend. Uh, I'll keep friends that are max level, active in the game, and uh, you have the text chats. So you know, we can talk to each other. Also, this guy's probably dead, which is fine. Alright, so the cutthroats are not too hard. Um, I'll probably be able to uh, get through everything by myself. So, yeah. If you guys have also comments, you know, leave them down in the comments. I did read the comments, or if you want to tweet at me, go ahead and tweet at me. Or if you have you know, something. By all means, just say it in the comments. Don't be scared to say it. Alright. <laughs> hey, Miss Cutthroat, you're doing... Okay, so for this one, it pretty much gives... Uh, it, it improves as Bonnie gets promoted. You'll see that later. Oh, but we're not again. That's kind of in the future. Alright, so I got a, a compass. Oh, I could equip that. And I got a staffy weapon. I want the compass. Uh, you can't just equip it like that. Okay. Oh! Wait, did it just equip automatically? Oh, no. I, I think because I clicked on it, it equipped it. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so we need to go ahead and get some mana really fast. And then we need to speak to Lipsy. Hello. Well done, pirate! During your diversion, I found this note. Listen to this. Our buyer won't be here for a while. I'll be in the temple. When the buyer arrives, bring him to me. The temple entrance is in the Skull Cave. Finn is in the Skull Cave. We will follow. Alright, so for those of you guys who weren't paying attention, we're actually trying to get the Jade Amulets for Captain Avery. And Finn has it. So that's why we are on the search to find Finn. Alright, and this is where we actually get our first piece of armor from this magical chest. Look, a chest. Let us see what treasures it holds. Let's see what treasures inside. Oh, hey. Alright, so I got a Corsair jacket. Boom. And look at that. Look at that. We got our first gear, which actually looks pretty cool. I like how there's like a little sword. Um,. Like on a shoulder pad. Cool. Uh, so now I could change that. Um, we'll talk about that later. Uh, because I don't think the here behind the waterfall. We found it. Looks like we'll have to cut our way through. Um, I don't believe we have access to that area yet. It's still closed off. Which is not that big of a deal. It's actually, totally fine. But we will get to that later. Um. I also would try to uh, let you guys know if there's like hidden furniture or tombs. If you the passage must lead back to town, a shorter path. This is good. Um, if you guys know of any hidden things, uh, make sure you guys leave it down in the comments because I don't know every like hidden thing or secrets in the game, and there are, there are secrets and hidden things um, throughout the game. There's like hidden tombs. Um, for your companions, there's hidden uh, pieces that you can pick up, and you know, let me know. crawling with crocagators, but we can sneak past them if we keep to the walls. Let me know down in the comments. All right. So again, um, in the next video, I'll probably have a mount. Um, I'll just go ahead and go home and get it from the share bank. I'll probably just let you guys know. Um, I'll show it because I know I get that question a lot. Where did you get this mount? This shared bank and then I'll, I'll let you guys know 
if it was from a pack or something. Uh, because I get a lot of questions like that, and I'll try to cover it. Uh, but remember, I'm human. I make mistakes too. So, yeah, just keep know that I suppose. All right. Anyways, um, we actually don't need to speak. That to water's him yet. too deep and too fast. We'll never make it. We will find a way. Finn must not escape. You there, come here, quick. All right. So if you recall, um, we had to look for Livesey and then Sergeant Shepard, and here is the second person that we were looking for. Hello. Livesey sent you? Very good. When Livesey and I split up, I made me way in here. I've been trapped here for hours, watching and listening. Finn's across the way there in the throne room. The girl's right. The water's too rough to swim. You want to cross? There's a shrine at the other end of the tunnels. Press the keystones on the three statues there, and the water will drain. But look out. The Trogis are holed up in that shrine. They'll do everything they can to stop you. But you'll need to get into the shrine first. It's locked up tight. I overheard some of these sharks talking. Seems one of them found a key. Alright, so we need to go ahead and defeat some uh, cutthroats once again. So we are going to go ahead and do that. I went ahead and marked it because we're going to have to come back here after we go to the shrine and push the three uh, shrines to make the water drain. Alright, so basically, again, we're just going to be fighting cutthroats. They're actually not too hard, but it is just the beginning, so eventually enemies are going to get tougher. As you would expect from any game. The beginning is kind of like a tutorial and you're like learning still and you're like, what do I do? And then once you get the hang of it, they'll start throwing the hard stuff. Um, the next battle, uh, I believe that there is actually something a little bit better that I actually prefer. Um, it's actually something I really like about this game. Uh, but once we get there, I'll go ahead and let you guys know what it is. Uh, because it is different from Wizards, and I know a lot of people have their opinions on which one is better, but it really does depend on what you think. It's just your opinion, it's not a fact, so everybody is um, entitled to their own opinion, and everybody has their own voice, that's what makes us all different, so again, you guys are all entitled to your own opinion. Alright, Sleepy Jake. <laughs> All right, let's see. Did get anything good? I got a tribal band. We've got the key. And got a ring. <coughs> uh, excuse me. All right. So I basically get items along the way, and I'll just keep changing it as I see it get better. Alright, so there wasn't anything right there for us to get. Alright, so we need to go ahead and go to the shrine and we need to try to lower the water so we could cross and we could make it to Finn. And get the Jade Amulet back for Captain Avery. And then he will trust us and he will be very generous then. Alright, so we're basically trying to get Avery's trust at the moment. Even though he kind of trusts us, I don't think he trusts us fully with it. Alright, so this is a sigil. You could um, either use team up or you could just enter now. I'm going to go ahead and obviously enter now since I am doing it solo. And there is nobody here. And yeah, it's solo. It's fine. Alright, anyways. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this battle. <laughs> I don't believe he said something. Alright, so... <clears throat> Basically, not all battles have to be defeating somebody. That's what makes this interesting. Because for this battle, you just have to go up to the shrines and you have to touch them. Or the statues. You also have different things that are in your way. That you can go ahead and break. There basically are obstacles in certain battles. They're not in all battles. But, you know, it makes it a little bit different. And sometimes they do get in the way, but... It's okay. It's okay. Alright, so... It's even shown you, um... In later quests, I believe it doesn't show you. This is actually fine. Uh, so basically you just want to go touch the shrines. 
the Chirakis are kind of just like defending them. But once you touch them, they go down. And the little center piece in the middle goes down too. It's basically like um, blocking all the water at the moment. Like if you take a shower, or excuse me, if you're taking a bath, you use that little, uh, I don't know the certain word for it, uh, but the plug, basically, to plug all the water from being released. And then once you pick it up, all the water goes down. This one. Um, I don't take baths, so whatever. I shower. Oh my gosh, people are going to be like, you don't take baths? You're disgusting. No, I was talking about, I take showers, okay? Okay, gosh. Also, I believe in this battle. <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing at the shower. Um, I believe in this battle, the Trogis keep coming in as you uh, push the shrines down and as it lowers. So, yeah, keep going. I do shower. Oh my gosh, people, come on. I shower. Wow. Alright. So I just need one more to push and then all the water in here is going to go down. And I believe more Trogis did actually show up. Alright, so right there you actually seen that the Trogi was able to jump. Um, that's actually kind of only like a swashbuckler thing. Um, swashbucklers are the only ones who are able to do that. So, yeah. The fact that he's able to do that since he's a buck, that's kind of cheating. But the enemies have different roles to them. And there goes all the water. Yay. Now these froggies are going to start smelling. And they start dying. <laughs> Alright. Yay. Alright, so I got to... I need to make sure I look at these. Oh, this actually... I got armor for Venge... Uh, Predator. The statues did their job. And now it's time to do ours. To battle! Alright, sorry. Penetration. I don't know. I got tongue twisted. Alright, so I got a new hat in the battle. It looks weird. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, I believe after we defeat Finn, we unlock the second place to Captain Avery's uh, courtyard. Um, and we'll get more of Skull oh, then. Alright, so... <laughs> the head looks weird. Alright, so like I said, all the water is down. Because what we just accomplished in there. And now we need to go ahead and... Wow, I don't know what I'm doing. So I have it marked. I have it marked for a reason. I need to get better on that. You did it. The water's passable now. I should report back, but if you're going after Finn, I'll help you first. Finn and I have a school to settle. Alright, so Sergeant Shepard is going to be helping us on this quest. Also, I heard my phone go off. Alright, it's not too important. Not in the moment. It wasn't even a like a text. Alright. Treasure chest. I will be getting Don't worry, I will be answering my phone. I'm not those people that you know don't reply back. Alright, so let's go ahead and answer now. Um, and we are going to go ahead and meet Finn for the first time. And there is the Jade Amulet. You made three mistakes, pirate. First, you took the job. Second, you didn't bring an army. Last, don't fight me in the dark. The dark is where I shine. Alright, so, Finn. Hello, Finn. I just need the Jade Amulet and I don't know. Grand friends, cutthroats of bullies and cowards. Beat their leader and the rest will turn tail. So get Finn! I just need the Jade Amulet and then I'll be on my way. Alright, fine. I, I guess I could beat you. Alright. The Jade Amulet is actually, like, pretty cool. Like, mm -hmm. it's actually well designed and I like how it shines. And it's just floating above. And basically, uh, Finn was trying to sell it to a certain buyer. Wink, wink. Probably wondering who this buyer, wink, is. 
But we'll find out later. Don't worry about that. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce Finn's dodge and then I'll go ahead and have him go over there. Alright, so he actually has kind of a more health than the other enemies do or the other cutthroats because he's kind of like a boss. I believe he's like our first boss we kind of encounter. Yeah. And he's he's kind of you know, he's cool. He's cool. Eventually he becomes cool. And now he's kinda of like a bad guy. Oh actually. He's kind of always a bad guy, but you're you're grow up to him. You'll grow up. Eventually. Alright, some people you actually could even get him as a companion, but that's in the future, so I'm not gonna talk too much about that. Is that all? Right. But it's with the crown shop. <laughs> but that's later, like I said. Um, also, you'll be unlocking companions as you meet them throughout the worlds that you complete. Um, I don't believe Finn is actually going to open in the crown shop. Not for a while. Also, I'm kind of to dying, which is interesting. Alright. And then S Sergeant Shepard is actually... Trying to take out Finn with me. Alright, so Bonnie has the ability to heal anybody um, anywhere on the map. And by anybody, I mean on our team. I mean, why would you want to heal somebody on a different team? So I'm going to ha have Bonnie heal uh, me because I'm actually dying. Wow, he blocked that. Also, the animation um, got changed a while back. Um, I just wanted to point that out. It wasn't like that in the beginning, beginning. Um, but I like the new animation. And the swashbuckle one is kind of cool too. Uh, we'll see that. Wait. Yeah, I believe we'll see that later. I don't. Or. We may have already seen it. I just overlooked it. Probably. That's probably what happened. Um, because I'm not sure if it does it for uh, Sneak Attack, which is the only move we have currently. Oh, I'm dead. Nice. GG! Um, also, you saw he did Blade Storm, which could be activated in two different ways. It either could be activated once you get a crit or once you defeat somebody. And then you saw my companion. He did Vengeance Strike, which is basically what it sounds. It's basically a Vengeance Strike. Um, if you don't know what Vengeance is, it's basically uh, getting back at somebody. So kind of like Revenge. In a sense. Um, which, getting revenge on somebody isn't something you should do. But, um, you know, sorry for what I did to you. Uh, but just move on from it, I, I suppose. You know, try your best to move on from it. Alright, so Finn is actually being really hard right now. And Sergeant Shepard got the final blow. Alright, but we only need to defeat him, so we completed the battle. Which is good. Right. Let's see, do I get anything else? Uh, nope. That's not good. Okay, got, got shoes. Um, I want you to remember this moment, pirate. This is the moment you won your first victory, and the moment you made your worst enemy. Ah, shit, it's yours, you bully. Well done, pirate. You're a good one to have handy in a fight. I'll report back to Lieutenant Smollett. You take the amulet to Avery. I hope we meet again. Alright, so, you probably saw... Okay, collect the Jade Amulet. Don't forget to do that. So you probably saw that um, my companion actually died. Um, and basically, once they die, you either need to go to Miracle Mitch or wait a certain amount of time. Or you could train them to have certain moves um, in the future. Um, and that basically heals them. We'll talk about that later once it comes up. Also, in here, there is a cane. This is basically a side quest. Um, you have to collect this crane for somebody, so we will go ahead and do it.
That's a nice looking cane. Wonder what it's doing down here. Oi, there are initials engraved here. R.H. Hmm. Harker! This must be Mr. Harker's cane. We should take it back to him. Harker's no beggar. He'll make it worth our while. You can find him at the gypsy wagon outside Avery's mansion. Alright. So basically, we are done. And we're going to go ahead and end off this episode. But we will go ahead and end it off with completing the side quest. And then in the next episode, we will go ahead and speak to Captain Avery. Also, in the battle, I got a lot of different items. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and look at them really fast. Um, also, that area is still not open until probably next time. Alright, so, anyways. Alright, so, this is what I was wearing before, which was two health, and then this one has two agility and two health. Alright, so, swashbucklers need agility, so it's ideal to have that. For this, I got that, which is garbage. I don't need that. And for this, oh, I need this, actually. Uh, you could just double click to equip them, or you could come down here to do it. Just double click it simpler no you want things to be simple all right so i got a new sword um but i said i was going to keep this because of the armor penetration uh, uh, for this one i have plus one uh and then i have the health you could also go ahead and sell your stuff which is probably something you should want to do um i recommend selling it at this guy there's a bazaar here in pirates which there wasn't before um but yeah just go ahead and sell stuff all right so the stuff you are, you know you're not going to need. So, I'm not going to need privateer things. Um, I'm also not, not going to need this. Uh, this. Not going to need these. Um, okay. I'm not going to need staff weapons. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, also, you get a boost. Uh, as you see, this one is from agility. The other one was from strength. Which is kind of like a buccaneer thing. Which actually is a fucking new thing. Excuse me. Um, it also could be used for other schools, but no. All right. Anyways, that was that. And hey, look, who's this guy? Oh, it must be the guy that we need to deliver the crane to. Hello. What's this? My cane found it last. You've done me quite a favor, young pirate. You have my gratitude. I have a gift to give in return. The gift of fun. Divert yourself with games of skill and chance. Step up to my wagon of wonders and let the merriment begin. Alright, so that was a little easy side quest to do. And received, we received a charm ring, which is for witch doctors. Uh, again, Life Fountain heals you up. Alright, and basically, you could come right here and you could play mini games. I'm not going to go ahead and play them, uh, but that is another way to fill up your... Uh, mojo that's what it's called mojo potions so you can go ahead and do that in the future right now and i have a mojo potion so it's not that big of a deal all right so let's go ahead and walk up to captain avery and then we will go ahead and speak to him in the next episode so make sure you guys leave a like down below if you are enjoying the series and if this is one of your new favorite series make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already subscribed so you're notified when i post a new video and make sure you guys share favorite and comments leave your comments down below and until next time, I have been KV, and I am out. Peace!